Most WordPress page builders out there today and even builders outside of WordPress allow you to modify the C index on elements on your page. And I want to take just a minute to explain what exactly the C index is and how to effectively use it. What I'm going to be showing you today is applicable to any builder out there. So even if you're not building on WordPress, be sure to stick along. We're about to jump in and dive into everything about the C index, but if you're into web design and development, marketing and everything business oriented, be sure to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as that's pretty much the only thing that we talk about here at Thrive Themes. Okay, C index. This is going to be a relatively short video because even though the term C index sounds a little bit scary for people that don't program, it's actually pretty easy to understand what it does and how it functions. I want you to picture a burger. If you're prepping a burger and you have two pieces of bread ready to get filled up with ingredients, what would you put first inside of them? The meat, the onions, or the pickles? There's no right answer here, but the order in which you decide to stack ingredients on top of each other is exactly what the C index does. If you were to give meat the lowest C index out of these three ingredients, let's just say that you give it a C index of one, you're telling your page builder that you want meat to be the bottom ingredient. And if you give pickles a C index of two, you're telling your page builder that you'd like that ingredient to be placed on top of meat because it has a higher C index than the one that you gave our meat. And of course, onions with a C index of three would mean that they are the ingredients sitting at the very top. Now, C indexes don't necessarily have to range from one to 10. I've seen programmers uh, that like going by tens. And so you can have your meat have a C index of 10, your pickles a C index of 23, and so forth and so on. The important thing here is to remember that elements with a higher C index get displayed further up the top of the page. And that is exactly what the C index does in CSS. It tells your page which layers should be sitting on top of one another. And believe it or not, this is important because sometimes you're going to have sections where you have, for example, text elements sitting on top of images. And if you don't give your text element a higher C index than your image, that means that your image is going to be sitting on top of your text element. And that will not make your text element readable because the image will be covering it. And that's it. That's the big mystery behind the C index. If you liked this video and found it useful, please be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. I'm down in the comment section below if you have any questions. And don't forget that there's a link in the description box that you can click on if you want to start building your online business today with Thrive Suite. It's been a real pleasure. Appreciate your time. I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.